discuss and talk through um, the bigger scope of Luciferianism uh, with a foundation of the organization Assembly of Light Bearers, the ALB. This organization has gone through a lot of change and uh, slow going uh, for well over a year. And uh, the direction that we're focused on moving towards, and we're actually starting to make some uh, ground up there, is um, the ALB as a kind of not exclusive organization or church or a magic order, but a collective symbol as an organization of loose affiliation for those who identify as Luciferians and who use uh, the philosophical foundations, um, which will be on the site and various uh, ALB hubs, if you will, the uh, essence of applying the philosophy now, those who have an interest in uh, Luciferianism, who um, have read uh, any number of my published books um, and really feel connected to it, what I'll tell you is if applying or practicing ceremonial or ritual magic is not something you're comfortable with, because uh, as you're beginning to identify as a Luciferian, um, you have a kind of potentially atheistic approach. I'm not saying that that's a category of um, one or the other, but let's say remove the mysticism, remove the initiatory uh, structure, metaphysical structure and tradition within my books and let's strip it down to the basic philosophy and how that works for the Luciferian. So we have the 11 points of power. This is the summary, the foundation, if you will, of the way of thinking, the way of approaching and uh, the opening of the eyes, if you will, to begin to think as an embodiment of the Luciferian archetype. Your mind, body, and uh, spirit uh, is the temple and the collective you, which is ever changing and ever permanent in some fashion and evolving, is the one who's going to oversee and make things happen. As you all know, it's not going to be anything else. No uh, amount of spirit offerings, um, invocations, um, you know, packs. You can do all that. But if you don't do your will within magic, for the right reasons, then you're going to have a lot of failure and issues. So let's go into the philosophy. There are three, there, there's the trinity or triad of the morning star, which this is the process of three specific things, liberation, illumination, and apotheosis. Now I've, I've, prattled on about that extensively and uh, there's 
a publication forthcoming totally on this concept. But I want all, and I encourage all new or interested um, Luciferians who are just trying to get their understanding of the, the process. Let's begin here. Liberation, in the Luciferian sense, um, begins with the slow, consistent, dedicated, and determined uh, integration and adaptation of the 11 points of power to your unique approach and experience and course of life. So you begin not with all of them because you'll soon give up. You have to apply each one for a period of time to create a habit to where it becomes something you do unconsciously. That has meaning in the unconscious. And that energy has a, is built off the uh, identification and symbolism and association of that uh, Luciferian adaptation, that approach. This process might be uh, a challenge or tedious for all new uh, individuals to this philosophy. But this is key of beginning a journey on the left-hand path that is entirely um, successful as a whole. And those who apply Luciferian philosophy, the 11 points, gradually will make note that through the concept of liberation, which is you identify, you become aware of traits, beliefs, um, moral restrictions, all of this baggage that many have from various avenues coming into Luciferianism. And that's what makes it different. And different is, is in this case. You have to know, everyone knows one of these or several of these types throughout the course of life. The person who is continually complaining and bemoaning about how nothing ever goes right for them or the relationships uh, they're being used and treated like shit all the time and they don't understand why and they go through an argument cycle with the person who uses them they quit talking and then they either draw someone just like that back to them or they go back for more of the same and then they turn around and say why don't things work well for me when you approach our philosophy you take some of the points and you start to on a basic level identify and become aware of hey that kind of thought that approach and uh, assimilation of experience is causing me um, to have this character flaw in that I pick uh, or that person might pick uh, someone who um, has that draw to and is a user or, or someone who takes advantage um, or that trait is they put themselves out there to be to have that done to them uh, because they're comfortable with it unconsciously it's a common thing to identify that, for a Luciferian to identify um, traits, recognize uh, restrictive beliefs, that is the first flash or spark from the forge of Azazel of Lucifer um, igniting the spirit with the black flame, becoming aware that you have choices and that by the very foundation of your thoughts and how you interact, 
that uh, manifests either in chaos or a total failure or towards what you design as um, your path as a Luciferian. Um, many growing up in uh, Judeo-Christian backgrounds or, or monotheistic religions from the earliest memories, parents pound and, and society pounds and uh, ingrains the uh, slave mentality, the um, you're a sinner from birth, you're defective from birth, but it, the thing in the sky still loves you. You just have to be, uh, you know, apologize and try to follow the rules. But think about it. That concept creates guilt and kind of self-loathing. And that's why I find the meek yet in, in totally destructive and life-hating religion of Christianity um, to be so damaging because that kind of self-loathing and guilt, you might not be aware of it consciously and go through life. Uh, and when you really start to identify as a Luciferian, you have this, this uh, illusion of, uh, oh, I feel guilty for doing, uh, you know, just things like uh, rejecting religion or it could be anything. But identifying that, and it's not hard to do a lot of meditation and um, just getting to understand who you are as a whole, as a person, and your traits and your patterns. Focusing in on that, you can totally transform that and remove that guilt and evolve. And over this process of applying the 11 points of power over time, say six months to a year, you have begun to um, transform, enhance yourself, evolve, become an incarnation of the Luciferian uh, archetype, the spirit. That is philosophy in action and you'll validate it and when you can validate it and recognize how you did that, how you liberated yourself, you broke those chains of restrictive, oppressive belief or character flaws, even though it's difficult to change that, that thought pattern, um, those deep, wired um, perceptions, you can change that and you can kind of, you will conquer it. And on the very symbolic corpse of that guilt ridden, uh, destructive, identified belief that you've destroyed, you're building upon the, the corpse a foundation for your Luciferian uh, mind, body, and spirit, the very temple of um, yourself in this life. So understand too that the adversary and Lucifer not only is a light bringer, night bringer, but his, the many symbols uh, in Luciferianism associated with various Greco-Roman gods, Near Eastern gods, Satan, Belial, all of those have connections and are a part of the adversarial concept. The adversary is a motivator, a challenger, a destroyer, and a creator. It shocks and pushes the psyche and the individual to confront and embrace um, and with self-determination think correctly to see yourself through the hardship 
uh, Luciferians with the philosophy at first and at different points in life all the time. You're going to have struggle, hardship, um, catastrophes to some extent. Um, you have to and you must as a evolving, uh, power attaining um, individual and adept, you must embrace those and approach them and think about them as opportunities to grow stronger, to um, start to drive towards your per potential. Overcoming those obstacles, overcoming that, beating that challenge, destroying that hardship and painful memory of whatever it is and building upon that the insight, the wisdom, the experience and the skill in rational application of our philosophy that validates and that enhances to a whole new level. Liberation is that process of identifying and doing something with a goal in mind to overcome and master and create and evolve, transform and become. It's a slow process, but over a period of time, you will be witness to how you have become and your black flame has enhanced and invigorated you. You'll look at things different. When you approach long-term goals in Luciferianism, you have a concept of where you want to go or how you want to see things manifest. And over time, as you become and you um, evolve in apotheosis, once you start to reach that area goal, things go where you will them. But there's so many surprises and different ways of understanding how you got there and the experience itself. It's always different than how you think it will be. Um, illumination is seeking the knowledge, the the goals that you, the goal that you have the ulterior motive, if you will, for anything that you indulge in, anything you do, the goal that you're trying to reach, getting the wisdom and the skills and the know-how to um, compel that change by your thoughts, your words, your actions, that is illumination. And then over time it becomes by this skillful process, apotheosis, becoming a god. Well, that's simply, you made this happen. You changed this. You mastered that. No one else did it for you. No one pushed you to do it. The Luciferian looks to the, meta, the, the symbol, the archetype of the adversary of Lucifer. And we identify and think like um, the adversary or the calculating strategist, the, the one who tests and the one who uses all means of words, thoughts, and actions to attain goals. Never submitting, but respecting and using and transforming energy that you build and that you experience and that you share with others of a like mind 
that is the process of apotheosis. You don't have to categorize it all. It's good to identify what you're doing and that, but um, it's a process that becomes unconscious. And over time, you start to get those that wheel turning and then the um, kind of power, the energy behind it uh, creates and your true will, uh, you become aware of what you're doing and everything starts to fall in place minus earthly hardships, problems, issues, all that's gonna happen, but how you approach it and conquer it matters. So I hope just in these few minutes of the Trinity of the Morning Star, that concept, applying that with the 11 points of power with specific ways of identifying and changing by creating new habits and thought patterns that masters and causes your um, transformation and your um, development. I hope this has been useful to you because if you can um, get this in a disciplined, applied, uh, and form it as a habit, as a part of yourself, that Luciferian spirit, the black flame, will create all kinds of opportunities and you will um, ascend in a uh, way that you can validate and that spirituality cannot be broken once you uh, start to attain that because you have validated it and you know that you believe because it, it, you created it. Um, take that foundation and if you're interested in the ceremonial, the ritual magic aspect, it's a tool, it's a energy uh, metaphysical structure to work in to go through liberation, illumination, apotheosis. If you're, if you're interested and feel drawn to that, take what I just talked about simply and then just uh, take any grimoire of mine and start applying uh, goal-oriented workings for a period of time with that in mind. You'll be surprised with the initiatory progress.